the following extracts carefully and answer the questions that follow. Tembu, who was 12, did not always sleep with his father at the station, for he had also to help in the home, where his mother and small sister were usually alone. They lived in a small tribal village on the outskirts of the forest, about three miles from the station. Their small rice fields did not provide them with more than a bare living and Baldev considered himself lucky to have got the job of Kalasi at this small wayside signal stop. Why could not Tembu sleep with his father at the station? Where did Baldev's family live? Why did Baldev consider himself lucky? Pick out the words from the extracts which are similar in meaning to the following expressions. A group of people, living together, sharing the same language. Something which is uncovered. Answer. He could not always sleep with his father at the station, because he had also to help in the home, where his mother and small sister were usually alone. They lived in a small tribal village on the outskirts of the forest, about three miles from the station. Baldev considered himself lucky to have got the job of Kalasi at this small wayside signal stop. Tribal Outskirts Or oh. In Chennai at the Center for Wind Energy Technology, research is done to check out various wind sites where wind energy can be tapped. And, wind turbines of various sizes are checked to see if they are delivering what they promised to do. Wind energy is also abundant in many parts of India from Gujarat. Andhra Pradesh and Kerala to the hilly regions in Maharashtra. Where is the research being done to check out various wind sites? Why are wind turbines of various sizes checked? Mention any one of the states in the extract where wind energy is abundant. Pick out the words from the extracts which are similar in meaning to the following expressions. The process of solving problems and finding facts. Available in large quantity. Answer. In Chennai at the Center for Wind Energy Technology, research is done to check out various wind sites where wind energy can be tapped. Wine turbines of various sizes are checked to see if they are delivering what they promised to do. Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh and Kerala Research Abundant B. At last, he heard of Dr. R. M. Hull there, principal of Dada, school for the blind in Bombay. My father wrote to him asking for advice. Dr. Haldair showed unusual interest in my case, and promised to take special care and personal responsibility for me if I was sent to his school. Note, my father is equal to Wade's father. What did Wade's father hear about? Why did Wade's father write a letter to Dr. Haldair? What promise did Dr. Haldair assure to Wade's father? Pick out the words from the extracts which are similar in meaning to the following expressions. Unable to see. Not commonly occurring. Answer. He heard of Dr. R. M. Haldair, principal of Dada, school for the blind in Bombay. My father wrote to him asking for advice. His father wrote to him asking for advice. Haldair showed unusual interest in his case, and promised to take special care and personal responsibility for him if he was sent to his school. Blind 
unusual or coming alongside dr benson stopped and invited the man to ride the man got in are you going far asked the doctor i am going all the way to detroit said the man a rather thin man with small black eyes filled with tears from the wind could you give me a cigarette why did dr benson stop alongside where was the man going what did the man ask dr benson to give pick out the words from the extracts which are similar in meaning to the following expressions at the same time to a certain extent answer benson stopped and invited the man to ride to detroit a cigarette a rather for to answer any three of the following questions in about 30 to 40 words each what did gavaskar like to do whenever he went to his uncle's house my first steps how did wade's mother try to test him my son will not a beggar be what did the intruder plan to do as vincent charles gerard if i were you what duty did baldev do at the station the tiger in the tunnel answer whenever gavaskar went to his uncle's house he liked to cherish the india test pullovers of his uncle and would move his hands gently over them with liking and affection because he loved cricket very much and so he felt very passionate to have them whenever he used to look at them and touch wade's mother put him through several tests she shook her hands vigorously and also asked whether the lights were on or off The intruder is a criminal who is being chased by the police for having murdered a cop. As per his plan, the intruder intends to kill Gerard in order to take on his identity and avoid being caught by the police. In this way, he can lead a peaceful life without being haunted by the fear of arrest and punishment. Baldev was in charge of keeping the signal lamp lit and the tunnel clear of any obstructions for the train passing through it. 3 read the extract and answer the questions that follow. There is a house now far away where once I received love. That women died. The house withdrew into silence. Snakes moved. among books i was then too young to read and my blood turned cold like the moon how often i think of going how did the house look after the death of the grandmother why was the poet not able to read the books what did the poet feel whenever he thinks of going to his house answer After the death of the grandmother house was reduced to silence the poet was not able to read the book as he only could read things of poetic language and not of others the poet often feels that someone is staring at him through the window or where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where the mind is without fear what is meant by mind is without fear what did the poet pray for his countrymen what does the poet mean by narrow domestic walls answer where the mind is without fear 
is a pre-independent poem in which the poet sincerely urges to God to awake his fellow beings for the realization that the essential need to live in a free and united country. Peace and Prosperity Barriers that prevent the people to unite. For answer the following in about 60 words. How did Gavaskar behave during matches played in his childhood days? My first steps. Answer. Gavaskar usually played with some of their friends near his house during his childhood. He always wanted to become a batsman and hated losing a wicket. This thing becomes an obsession. He got angry and argued with his friends when he got out in game. He also fights and gets back home. Gavaskar was the only one who was having bat and ball among all the friends. The game automatically ends when Gavaskar went back to his home. So, the friends decided that whenever Gavaskar bats, they would appeal at a particular ball, and whether he was out or not, he had to go by the majority verdict. Gavaskar usually played with some of their friends near his house during his childhood. He always wanted to become a batsman and hated losing a wicket. This thing becomes an obsession. He got angry and argued with his friends when he got out in game. He also fights and gets back home. Gavaskar was the only one who was having bat and ball among all the friends. The game automatically ends when Gavaskar went back to his home. So, the friends decided that whenever Gavaskar bats, they would appeal at a particular ball, and whether he was out or not, he had to go by the majority verdict. Or, oh. what changes did Nehru want among the people of India? India her past and future. Answer. Nehru wanted to make India into a modern industrial nation. He hoped to make a casteless, secular, India. Nehru promoted parliamentary democracy, secularism, and science and technology during the 1950s powerfully influencing India's arc as a modern nation. Nehru quickly set about ensuring his vast, impoverished and hugely diverse country was governed by democratically elected leaders and the rule of law. In parallel, he tried to make India economically self-reliant, so that it could no longer be exploited or manipulated by foreign powers. Perhaps inevitably, given the scale of the challenges involved, the results of these efforts were mixed. Nehru's hopes for a peaceful transition from British rule were dashed by the horrific violence that accompanied partition, the division of the British colony into the separate states of India and Pakistan. Hundreds of thousands died in clashes between Hindus and Muslims, and millions more were displaced and traumatized. 5. Read the passage below and answer the questions that follow. Papaya is a healthy fruit with a list of properties that is long and exhaustive. You can munch on it as a salad, have it cooked or boiled or just drink it up as milkshake or juices. Papaya has many virtues that can contribute to our good health. The most important of these virtues is the protein digesting enzyme it has. The enzyme is similar to pepsin in its digestive action and is said to be so powerful that it can digest 200 times its own weight in protein. It assists the body in assimilating the maximum nutritional value from food to provide energy and bodybuilding materials. 
Bobbin in Ropper Bayer makes up for the deficiency of gastric juice and fights excess of unhealthy mucus in the stomach and intestinal irritation. The ripe fruit, if eaten regularly corrects habitual constipation, bleeding piles and chronic diarrhea. The juice of the papaya seeds also assists in the above-mentioned ailments. Papaya juice used as a cosmetic, removes freckles or brown spots due to exposure to sunlight and it makes the skin smooth and delicate. A paste of papaya seeds is applied in skin diseases like those caused by ringworm. The black seeds of the papaya are highly beneficial in the treatment of cirrhosis of the liver caused by alcoholism, malnutrition, etc. A tablespoonful of its juice, combined with a hint of fresh lime juice, should be consumed once or twice daily for a month. I mentioned some of the properties that papaya fruit has. 2. How is raw papaya useful to us? 3. What benefit do we get if we consume ripe papaya regularly? Four. Why do we use the black seeds of papaya? Answer I. List of properties that is long and exhaustive. You can munch on it as a salad, have it cooked or boiled or just drink it up as milkshake or juices. 2. Raw papaya makes up for the deficiency of gastric juice and fights excess of unhealthy mucus in the stomach and intestinal irritation. 3. Bleeding piles and chronic diarrhea. 4. The black seeds of the papaya are highly beneficial in the treatment of cirrhosis of the liver caused by alcoholism, malnutrition, etc. 6. Read the passage and answer the questions that follow. Climate change will have serious implications as numerous adverse impacts are expected in terms of access to clean water, food and ecosystem resources. By 2020, it is feared that in some African countries yields from rain-fed agriculture could be reduced by up to 50%. Climate change is also likely to lead to some irreversible impacts on biodiversity. However, it is within the reach of human society to meet these threats. We have to adapt to climate change. It requires investment in storm protection and water supply infrastructures as well as community health services. Bringing changes in lifestyle is an important part of mitigation measures. Greater cooperative efforts are required by both developed and developing nations to stop emission of greenhouse gases. The youth of today have a huge responsibility towards creating a bright future and they obviously have a stake in it. They must pursue knowledge by which economic progress can take place without changing the environment. What are the serious implications caused by climate change? What is feared to happen in some of South African countries by 2020? What does climate change likely to lead? Mention some of the areas where we need to adapt to climate change. What huge responsibility do the youth of today have? Answer. Climate change will have serious implications as numerous adverse impacts are expected in terms of access to clean water, food and ecosystem resources. By 2020, it is feared that in some African countries yields from rain-fed agriculture could be reduced by up to 50%. Climate change is also likely to lead to some irreversible impacts on biodiversity. 
Climate change is also likely to lead to some irreversible impacts on biodiversity. Moving to higher ground to avoid rising sea levels, planting new crops that will thrive under new climate conditions, using new building technologies. The youth of today have a huge responsibility towards creating a bright future and they obviously have a stake in it. 7. Read the passage below and complete the statements that follow. As civilization proceeds in the direction of technology, it passes the point of supplying all the basic essentials of life food, shelter, clothes and warmth. Then we are faced with a choice between using technology to provide and fulfill needs which have hitherto been regarded as unnecessary or, on the other hand, using technology to reduce the number of hours of work which a man must do in order to earn a given standard of living. In other words, we either raise our standard of living above that necessary for comfort and happiness or we leave it at this level and work shorter hours. I shall take it as axiomatic that mankind has, by that time, choose the latter alternative. Men will be working shorter and shorter hours in their paid employment. It follows that the housewife will also expect to be able to have more leisure in her life without lowering her standard of living. It also follows that human domestic servants will have completely ceased to exist. Yet the great majority of the housewives will wish to be relieved completely from the routine operations of the home such as scrubbing the floors or the bath or the cooker or washing the clothes or washing up, or dusting or sweeping, or making beds. I, as civilization proceeds in the direction of A. It passes the point of supplying all the basic essentials of life food, shelter, clothes, and b. 2. I shall take it as c. That mankind has, by that time, choose the latter, d. 3. Men will be e. Shorter and shorter hours in their paid f. 4. It also follows that human, g, servants will have completely, h, to exist. Answer. I, a, technology, b, want. 2, c, axiomatic, d, alternative. 4, e, working, f, employment. We. G. Domestic. H. Ceased. 8. Read the passage below and make summary in about 100 words. The hopping kangaroo is a familiar sight in every snapshot relating to Australia. Member of the kangaroo family can be as small as a rat or as big as a man. Kangaroos are found mainly in Australia. Thasmania and New Guinea. Kangaroos which are big-footed marsupials that evolved in Australia use their short front legs like arms. The man-sized kangaroos of Australia are capable of speeding up to 88 km hr for short distances, their means of locomotion being their powerful hind legs which carry them over the ground in jumps of nine in or more at a time. Weighing around 70 kilograms they have an average lifespan of around 6 to 8 years and a maximum lifetime of 20 years. When bothered by predators kangaroos often head for the water, standing submerged to the chest, and attempting to drown the attacker by holding him under water. Another defensive technique is to get their back to a tree and kick their adversary with their clawed hind feet, sometimes with sufficient force to kill a man. Normally shy animals, 
They alert other kangaroos to danger by beating on the ground with their hind feet. This loud alarm signal carries over a long distance. The tail is important for kangaroos. It holds them in balance and supports them when they sit or fight against other kangaroos. The kangaroo uses its short legs as arms. With them, it scratches itself, cleans its fur and holds branches when it eats leaves. Kangaroos are marsupials and the females carry newborns in a pouch in front of their abdomens. The babies are born small and climb up into the safety of the pouch. Therefore, the next 225 days or so, they sleep and grow. Once they reach full development, they leave the pouch. A young kangaroo that leaves the pouch is called a joey. To keep from getting too hot the kangaroos take naps in the afternoon and do most of their gazing at night. But the best stay cool secret of these creatures is the spit bath. Kangaroos drool and lick saliva all over their faces and bodies to cool down. Answer Summary Kangaroos are big-footed marsupials that evolved in Australia and are found mainly in Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea. They are capable of speeding up to 88 km hr for short distances and have an average lifespan of around 6 to 8 years and a maximum lifetime of 20 years. When bothered by predators, Kangaroos often head for the water and attempt to drown the attacker. They also alert other kangaroos to danger by beating on the ground with their hind feet. The tail is important for kangaroos as it holds them in balance and supports them when they sit or fight against other kangaroos. Kangaroos are marsupials and the females carry newborns in a pouch in front of their abdomens. To stay cool, they take naps in the afternoon and do most of their gazing at night. The best stay cool secret of these creatures is the spit bath. Kangaroos drool and lick saliva all over their faces and bodies to cool down. 9. Fill in the blanks in the following sentences with prepositions. The man went, a, uh, the doctor's clinic at St. Street, Dr. John put stethoscope, b, his chest and diagnosed thoroughly. He said that the man is suffering underscore, c, underscore 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 viral fever. The doctor prescribed medicine, D, 5 days. Answer. 2. On. From. 4. 10. Combine the following pairs of sentences using connectors given against each pair. I, I have a friend. Who? 2. She lives in London. I, this is the place. Where? 2. I lost my purse yesterday. I, my friend came to my house. While? 2. I was sleeping. I, the school was over. 2. I returned from the school. When? Answer. I have a friend who lives in London. This is the place where I lost my purse yesterday. My friend came to my house while I was sleeping. The school was over when I returned from the school. 11. Fill in the blanks with correct form of the verb. A. Uh, the girl to the college every day. Goes. Is going. B. He to the city yesterday. Was. Had been. C. 
children books in their bags. Carries. Carry. Answer. Goes. Had been. Carry. 12. Report the following conversation in indirect speech. The man, where are you going? The girl, I am going to Kashmir on trip. The man, are you going alone? The girl, no, I am going with my father. The man, I wish you a happy journey. Answer. In direct speech, the man asked the girl where she was going. The girl responded by saying that she was going for a trip in Kashmir. Then the man inquired whether she was going for trip alone. The girl responded by saying that she was going with her father. Then the man wished the girl a happy journey. 13. Write a paragraph of about 100 words on any one of the topics given below. Answer. Swatch Bharat Abhiyan. Swatch Bharat Mission or Swatch Bharat Abhiyan is a campaign run by the Government of India as a massive mass movement to initiate the theme of cleanliness throughout India. This campaign was launched in seeking a way to create a Clean India, target by 2019, 2nd October, the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi. Importance of this initiative The father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, had always dreamed of making India a clean India and always put his hard efforts toward cleanliness in India. This is why Swatch Bharat Abhiyan was launched on 2nd October, the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. Dot, the Indian government has decided to launch this campaign. The Swatch Bharat Abhiyan aims to bring behavioral changes in people and motivate health practices, spread cleanliness awareness among people, and strengthen the cleanliness systems in all areas. It helps create a user-friendly environment for all private sectors interested in investing in India for cleanliness maintenance. Use of mobiles Having a cell phone is no longer a choice, but a necessity. The days when having a cell phone was seen as a luxury is long gone. Mobile phone prices have gone down so much today. More companies are making mobile phones, so it's not a big deal to buy one these days. Now, this small thing is an important part of life. Mobile phones are by far one of the best things ever made because they can be used in so many ways. We can talk to anyone on the other side of the world just by moving our fingers. They can be used for banking, booking, shopping, entertainment, etc. They are also a good source of entertainment. The way people use cell phones has a big effect on their health, social lives, and physical well-being. The main problems are too much use, worsening eyesight, less productivity, and being too dependent on them. This makes young people more likely to get sick. When people use their phones too much, they may get brain tumors. Mobile phone is an electronic device, so its operating system can be attacked by other electronic devices and virus programs. Today, we are getting more and more reliant on cell phones to talk to each other. Cell phones are a blessing as long as they are only used for good things. Therefore, people should use mobile phones wisely. Securing first rank in the last board exam Securing the first rank in the board exams is no easy feat, 
but it is definitely achievable with the right approach and mindset. The key to success is to start early, plan your studies effectively, and practice consistently. One of the most important things is to have a thorough understanding of the concepts and topics covered in the syllabus. A great way to do this is to read the textbook and take notes regularly. Another tip is to solve previous year's question papers and sample papers to get an idea of the exam pattern and types of questions asked. It's also important to take care of your health and well-being by eating healthy, exercising, and getting enough sleep. By following these tips and staying focused, you can secure the first rank in the board exams and achieve your academic goals. Achieving first rank in the last board exam is a dream come true for many students. It takes both hard work and smart preparation to achieve this feat. To secure the top position, you need to approach your studies with diligence and dedication. The first step is to set clear goals and create a study plan that covers all the subjects and topics. 14. Write a letter to the water supply board complaining about irregular supply of water in your locality. Answer 2. The Municipal Commissioner Palam Municipality Palam, Delhi 1,10,077 Date Subject Complaint regarding irregular water supply. Respected Sir Madam, I would like to inform you that our village locality is very troubled by irregular supply of drinking water. Most of the hand pumps in our village are in poor condition. Water is coming in the taps outside the house for the last 10 to 15 days and even if water comes, it comes only for half an hour. Due to paucity scarcity of drinking water, people stand in queue for hours with bucket and pots to fill water from midnight onwards. While filling water from the tap, people also start fighting with each other. Therefore, I request you to kindly please regularize the supply of drinking water in this locality village. We will be very grateful to you for this noble work. Thanking you. Yours faithfully. XYZ 15. The following passage has seven mistakes of spellings and other grammatical inaccuracies. Spot the errors and provide correct forms as shown below. One is done for you to serve as an example. Mars has seasons like the Earth. In fact, the seasons change in Mars, there seems to be chains on its surface. The dark areas get stronger in the spring and summer and the color changes from bluish green to yellow. SL no. Error. Correct form. 1. Season. Seasons. 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. Answer. SL no. Error. Correct form. 1. Season Seasons 2. In On 3. Chains Changes 4. Surface Surface 5. Areas Areas 6. Summer, summer, seven, yellow, yellow, 
16 read the following passage carefully. Make notes in points only, using appropriate headings and subheadings. Also use recognizable abbreviations. Satellite TV, providing entertainment 24 hours a day, is leading to an increase in health problems among children. There is an alarming increase in the cases of sleep disturbances in children caused by excessive television viewing. The increased amount of television viewing is associated with many types of sleep problems, including difficulty in getting to and staying asleep. The amount of television viewed also had an effect on whether the child became sleepy even during the daytime, affecting his normal daytime functioning. Contrary to popular belief that cartoons are harmless, they contain violent portrayals that make children aggressive. Children are very innocent and cannot tell the difference between cartoon violence and real-life violence. The children who watched the violent shows, even just funny cartoons, were more likely to hit out at their playmates, argue, disobey class rules and leave tasks unfinished more often than those who watched the non-violent programs. Televised violence affects its viewer in three ways, inducing aggressive attitudes, desensitization to violence and fear of being victimized by violence. Answer Title Impacts of Television Growing impact of T.V. DSTRBS in children. Asleep. Affecting NRML. Daytime. Impression. Of cartoon. Harmless gaunt. Violent. Televised violence. Impacts on children. Become violent. Attitudes by violence abbreviations 1 DSTRBS disturbances 2 children children 3 staying staying 4 NRML normal 5 aggressive aggressive Summary Satellite TV, providing entertainment 24 hours a day, is leading to an increase in health problems among children. There is an alarming increase in the cases of sleep disturbances caused by excessive television viewing. Cartoons contain violent portrayals that make children aggressive. Televised violence affects its viewer in three ways, inducing aggressive attitudes, desensitization to violence and fear of being victimized by violence. Children who watch violent shows are more likely to hit out at their playmates, argue, disobey class rules and leave tasks unfinished more often than those who watch nonviolent programs. Section B. Option I. 17. Mention any four items which should be kept on receptionist desk. Answer. A writing pad and a pen. A handful of useful phone numbers. Separate folders for everything, whether in desktop or hard copy. Proper information about almost everything. 18. What should a receptionist always remember? Answer. To understand information quickly and accurately, receptionists should learn how to be a good listener, engage in active listening, provide clear and concise information, and be empathetic and respectful of others. You should also have excellent writing and editing skills for drafting and proofing professional emails.
19. What is a message form? Answer. Message form A receptionist frequently requires these forms because they may not remember all of the messages that must be relayed to various individuals. They can easily record the message on this form. 20. Write a short note on the following. Register of callers. Reservation voucher. Internal telephone directory. Answer. Register of callers. Register of callers. It means that all the callers which are registered and have to write their names, address, date and time of arrival, purpose of visit etc. Reservation voucher. Sometimes hotels give send reservation vouchers instead of letters or reservation cards after the booking has been confirmed. The guest shows this voucher at the reception when he she comes to stay in a hotel. It also means that the guest has already paid the agent hotel for the room. The receptionist, who looks after booking also, has to fill in these vouchers and send them ahead for further action. Internal Telephone Directory A telephone directory, commonly called a telephone book, telephone address book, phone book, or the white and yellow pages, is a listing of telephone subscribers in a geographical area or subscribers to services provided by the organization that publishes the directory. 21. Write the message you would like to leave for a manager based on the following telephonic conversation. Amit, is it Lakeview Deluxe Hotel? Receptionist, yes sir. What can I do for you? Amit, could I speak to the manager? Receptionist, I am sorry, he is not in the hotel. Amit, I want to book the party hall on 19th October 2023. At the same, ask him to arrange dinner for 150 guests. Receptionist, yes, surely. Please give your contact details. Amit, my name is Amit and my contact number is 95XXXXXX88. Receptionist, thank you sir, have a nice day. The message in the printed form used in your office. Message form. 2. From 3. Time. Date. Message. Contact no. 7. Taken by. Answer. Message form. 2. The manager. From Amit. 4. Date. 10th October 2023 3. Time 5 p.m. Message As you were not here there is a message left for you. There was call from Amit. Wanted to book party hall on 19th October. At the same, he has also asked to arrange dinner for 150 guests. Contact no. 95XXXXXXX88 7. Taken by Receptionist Option 2 17. Write an email address to Jagdesh Travels asking them to cancel your air tickets to Kolkata. Answer 2. Jagdesh Travels at gmail.com From xyz at gmail.com Subject To cancel air ticket Good morning, sir I have booked an air ticket to Kolkata from Jagdesh Travels. 
Sir, I want to cancel my air ticket because due to some personal problem I cannot go. Sir, I hope you will help me. Thank you. X, Y, Z. 18. What is a memo? Answer. A memo is actually short form of memorandum. It is one of the most used means of official communication in the business world. Its main purpose is to serve as a reminder or to give some instructions. 19. How do you prepare yourself before appearing for a face-to-face -face interview? Answer the following are some essential steps for pre-interview preparation. Review the job description. Read the job description to thoroughly understand how the employer has described the position and the type of candidate they are looking for. Carefully review the keywords and key phrases the employer uses to describe their expectations. The more you can align your skills and qualifications with the job description, the better chances you stand to impress the interviewer. You may also get some clues from the job description about the questions the interviewer may ask. Consider your eligibility for the job. Think about your qualifications and experience. Ask yourself why you are required to apply for that job and why the employer should hire you. Assessing how the job fits into your career path and what value you can add to the company helps you convince the interviewer about what makes you the best candidate for the position. Learn more about the company. Get in-depth information about the company through its website social media pages, employee reviews and other online sources. Find out about its mission, management, work culture, the types of products it offers and the types of clients it serves. Get some insight on its latest revenue, growth prospects and business plans. Most companies display information about the management on their About Us page, employment-related information on their careers or Work With Us page and information for investors on their Investor Relations page. Prepare a list of expected interview questions. Make a list of common interview questions for the given position and frame thoughtful answers. Prepare impressive responses to questions that give you an opportunity to highlight your skills and interest in the job. In addition to position-specific questions, here are some common questions to include in your list. Tell me about yourself. Why are looking for a job change? Why do you want this job? What are your strengths and weaknesses? What motivates you? Where do you see yourself in five years? Practice mock interviews. No matter how well you prepare, it is natural to feel anxious and overwhelmed at the time of the interview. Mock interviews can be a great help in this regard. They can create a real interview-like environment and help boost your confidence. Ask your friends or family to conduct a mock interview for you. Consider recording the entire process to analyze your performance. If you cannot find anyone to play the interviewer, you can rehearse the interview in front of a mirror. Organize your documents. You may have applied using a digital copy of your CV, but it always helps to keep hard copies of all your documents with you, just in case the interviewer needs them for easy access. Take a printout of your resume and cover letter. 
put all the important documents including your mark sheets, certificates, ID proofs and photographs in a folder. If the HR has asked you to bring any particular documents like salary slips, relieving letter from previous employer or bank statement, be sure to keep them ready as well. Update your social media profile. If you are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter or any other social media platform, make sure you have an updated profile. Employers often check your social media presence to get an idea about your personality and background. Search for your name in Google to see what results turn up. If there is anything unpleasant, prepare yourself for a response if the interviewer asks about it. Make travel arrangements. Familiarize yourself with the location map that the company has sent you. You can also check directions to the venue using Google Maps. Based on the distance and the time it would take to come moot, plan your timing and decide on the mode of transport. Have contact information of the HR department ready with you just in case you need any help locating the company. Decide on your interview dress. Choose a formal dress that you would be wearing for the interview. Make sure the clothes are clean and wrinkle-free. If you plan to spray deodorant or perfume, make sure it is mild. Overall, plan for a neat and clean look with well-cut hair and shaved or trimmed beard. 20. Write a letter of enquiry for the delay in sending printed notebooks to Bhatia International School, Mumbai. You are the second divisional assistant of the school. Address the letter to RK Printers, Navi Mumbai. Answer. Bhatia International School, Mumbai. 1st June 2023 The Manager RK Printers Mumbai Subject Enquiring about the status of order, sir. I placed an order for the bulk purchase of printed notebooks for our school library on 10th March 2023. I had specifically written in the order placement letter that we needed the books urgently latest by 30th April 2023. However, we have not received the order till today. I wish to know the reason behind this undue delay. I am compelled to state that in case there is any further delay, particularly for class 10 and 12 are not delivered to library within a week. We will have to cancel the order. Looking forward to prompt reply. Yours truly. Second Divisional Assistant. 21. Read the following greetings and state if they are formal or informal. I hope this letter finds you in good health. Good morning, how are you? You are the person I was looking for. What a pleasant surprise. Answer. Informal. Formal. Informal. Formal. Formal.